Hello everyone, this is Alex Trimble from the Executive Appeal and today I'm out on this beautiful hike. I want to take a minute to talk to you about one of the most important things that you need to make sure you're able to manage as a successful leader and manager. And what is that? That is your locus of control. That is, you must understand that as a leader, the higher you go up in the organization, boom, 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 the bigger your problems tend to become. I mean, in a, in, a, in, a, in a correctly run organization, right? Because really in an organization, you should be allowing the individuals who are lower in the organization to have the autonomy to fix those problems. So the, big, the higher you go, the more problems you will be presented with. But the reality is you don't have control over all of those problems. You don't have the resources or influence to, to, to truly impact all those problems. So you as a leader, you must focus on what you can focus on because otherwise you become stressed, right? You start to get headaches, start to feel, have anxiety. You, you, you start to not be able to sleep well. Goodness gracious, your, your blood pressure goes up and that's not even to say all the things that will happen to your team, right? Because if you're not operating well, then they may become more stressed out and, and they may feel like things are not working out for you. And, and they may start to have those same challenges because they're looking at you doing the same thing and that's not healthy for anyone. So this is why I'm consistently preaching within the organizations I speak with to focus on feed forward, right? Feed back is focused on things that happened in the past. Feed forward is focus on things that happen in the future. Why do I bring this up? Well, because everyone talks about those programmatic things that you focus on. They talk about the policy things that you only have locus of control over. But how many people talk about time? Time. You do not have control over what happened in the past. I mean, seriously, I, I, I still struggle with it myself every once in a while, but oh my God, I should have made this decision. Oh my, why, why did I do that? I must not be smart. Oh my, this is crazy. But does that help me to do all those things? Does it help the situation? Does it make me a better person to beat myself up for things I've done in the past? Absolutely not. We have to be focused on the future? Uh, not even necessarily. Because again, we're thinking about locus of control. Can you control the future? I mean, if you're a Marvel fan, maybe. <laughs> but generally, all of us, not so much. So what can you focus on? And what can you truly impact and control? That's today. What are you doing today to make yourself better? What are you doing today to make your program stronger? What are you doing today to, to help push your employees and your teams forward to be more successful and ensure they reach their goals as well? What are you doing today? Don't focus on the future. You focus on the future. It may never come. What are you doing today? Now, an example I talked about <laughs> a few months ago when I was on this really great hike in, um, oh, I was in Utah. Beautiful, beautiful. I think it was in uh, Canyonlands. No, I was in Arches. Um, I love this example, right? Again, I'm in outdoors. It only makes sense to use this example. Sweating a little bit. Um, but check this one out. This is the place we're hiking in right now. Some of you maybe said my wife is up there somewhere hiding from us. But this is this beautiful, beautiful location. Now, if my goal is to get to the top of this hill, I can't be focused on the top of this hill. I must be able to focus right here. Where are my feet going? Otherwise, what will happen? I will <laughs> trip. You can't focus on the past because you've been there. You can't focus on the future because you're not there yet. You gotta be focused on what you're doing today to make sure that you are taking the right steps to ensure that you get you, your team, your family, and your organization where you need to be. So, as always, this is Alex Trumbull from the Executive Pill Podcast. I love to hear your thoughts on this. Am I crazy? <laughs>
let me know. As always, stay strong, stay positive, and definitely stay moving. <laughs>